My name is Jeffrey Aparicio. I'm an aerospace engineering student who would like to share his testimony on how my trials and tribulations have brought me to Cal Poly. Let's begin. My father was the first to arrive to America to pursue the American dream. It wasn't an easy journey. Sleeping in the fields of Salinas, sharing an apartment with seven other people, and the lack of speaking English were some of the challenges my father faced. Growing up, education was highly valued in my household. My parents did not have the luxury to go to attend school since leaving school for work was the social norm. Unfortunately, my father passed away when I was 13 years old due to alcoholism. I remember crying over his deathbed, screaming, Dad, don't leave us. Please stay. What would mom would do without you? On, Octo on October 13, 2005, my father, my mentor, my hero passed away. He left my mother alone with three kids to support. Instead of being a man and taking care of my family, I decided to join a gang. The similarities of these gentlemen, such as coming from a broken home, lured me to the gang lifestyle. From the ages of 14 to 22, I was a full-fledged gang member. I was involved in armed robberies, burglaries, assault, and battery. If that wasn't bad enough, I was kicked out of four high schools by the time I reached my junior year. I only attended classes when an officer would escort me to school. My GPA was a .20, and I was proud of it. <laughs> when asked what I wanted to do after high school, I answered go to prison. Instead of thinking about college, I was thinking about Folsom State Prison or San Quentin. Eventually, my luck would run out, and I ended up serving time in juvenile hall. In this juvenile hall, I started realizing that I did not want to end up as another statistic. I, I wanted more in life than just sitting in a cell. As a result, I decided to turn my life around. After my release, I enrolled myself in Consumers River College, Sacramento, to pursue, to pursue a higher education. I randomly declared myself as a math major. Ooh, math. <laughs> I started at the lowest math level, college algebra. Um, could I do it? Am I smart enough? Why math? Well, I finished all the math courses that my community college could offer. That's a total of 12 math courses for me. I felt that I could do more. As they say, the sky is the limit. I wanted to challenge myself again, so I decided to become an aerospace engineer. Why not? I might, <laughs> I might as well since I finished all this math. Ladies and gentlemen, I left my community college with seven associate's degrees, four scholarships, highest honor, and a GPA over 3.5. Thank you. My hard work finally paid off, and I earned the opportunity to attend Cal Poly. I'm not going to lie to you. I hated it at first. <laughs> <laughs> I was facing multiple challenges that made it hard to adapt to this new environment. However, I was able to leave my comfort zone, and I decided I wanted to get back to my new community. I got involved in clubs, volunteering at Polycultural Weekend, the local food bank, and even slow days. This summer, I had the privilege to be a day counselor of Cal Poly's EPIC program. I was able to mentor high schoolers and show them the engineering possibilities that await them in Cal Poly. I never had the opportunity to attend any colleges during my youth. And now I'm here sharing my story on how I made it to Cal Poly, hoping to inspire the generation to come. It's funny how the world works. From gangs to becoming a Mustang, I can finally call this place home. Thank you. <laughs>